Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Hope all is well with you. Hope you're having a fabulous day, year, month, life in spite of everything that we're going through. You guys know what to do right now. Share this video. Don't keep it to yourself. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. So I've been away for a minute, but you know, I always thank you to all of my seasoned followers. You guys are amazing. Thank you to my new followers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for keeping my videos in circulation. Almost a million views. You guys are freaking amazing. So check this out. I had to come out. I've been away. I've been studying. I've been working on some things. So just trying to finish that up, but I'll be back. But I had to come and talk about this. A couple of weeks ago, you guys, there was a viral video of a pastor having sex. But the key thing that made it go viral is that the pastor was in a same-sex video. So y'all know I've said this before and I'll keep saying it till the day I die. Why the hell do y'all have to record your sexual escapades? Somebody please help me understand that. I don't get why you have to record because what happens, you get upset with that person or that person gets upset with you and they expose your business. I don't care if you hanging from the chandelier and y'all doing whatever out on the balcony stop just let's 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 do something decent and in order and i'm so sick of you pastors i've said this before and you women you so holy you so deep hockey and you say your discernment is on point but you can't tell when you have a man who says he's struggling, and let me tell you something, I'm going I'm to I'm catch some flack for this. If you have married a woman and you are still sleeping with a man, you're not struggling. You just want to have a cover up is what you want to have. So stop the bull, save the crap, all the drama. You guys know I'm over foolishness. We have just been in hell with COVID, so I don't have time for the drama. So let me tell you this. So. He has now stepped down and he wrote this big letter apologizing. And this is his words, it's not mine. And I just want to read a little bit because there's some stuff that I need y'all to really get. And he starts off, in light of all that has recently occurred and emerged, I'd like to take the time to apologize to each and every person who was discouraged, disgusted, distracted, and even displaced because of my inappropriate, deplorable, and unfortunate actions. What was unfortunate about it? You put yourself in the situation, so it's unfortunate that it came out? Okay, yeah. I've sought no pity. Did you think you were going to get pity? No, you couldn't have thought that. And I have no excuses for my actions. I own up to all the wrongs that I've done. And I have repented, apologized, and fully embraced the process that comes with the consequences of my unconscionable actions. You weren't unconscious. You knew what you were doing. You knew exactly the repercussions of what you were doing. You knew when this person was videotaping you. We have seen it time and time and time and time again. It's coming out videos, 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 gospel artists. And you stand up there. I'm about to go there, y'all. I'm about to go there. I'm about to shift. Y'all like, yeah, y'all church stuff. I'm about to shift. You stand up there and claim that you are serious about your ministry, but you cannot control your lower extremities, actions. So let me tell y'all something. Everybody loves sex. That's, 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 we're not going to lie about that. We're not going to play no games about it. But when you say that the ministry is what you are striving for, if you can't tone down your desires, your wants, and your needs and align them together, then you should step down for ministry. If you... 
You know you want a man. Stop marrying women. I can't say that enough. I'm so sick of you men who get with these women and you play with their emotions and you play with their feelings. I'm over this bull. It's bull. So as he goes on, I'm going to skip on down to me. Uh, to, I guess his wife's name is to me. She has been an amazing and faithful friend and wife. She was completely devastated. What the hell did you think she was going to be? What did you think she was going to be? Because the man that she was in love with, the man that she married, the man that she thought was the man of God that was leading and guiding the people. Can't keep his thing in his pants. And he has a fetish to be videotaped. So you... Utterly embarrassed her, just totally all the way over. But I got to get down to this part. And she did no wrong and did not deserve to have to endure this kind of trauma. She did no wrong. Prior to meeting her, y'all listen, I need y'all to listen. These are his words. Prior to meeting her, I never voiced my private struggles Early in our marriage, an indiscretion of the same nature that was exposed happened. And I shared with her, my family, my leaders, and my church that I was dealing with. Well, what I was dealing with. She felt deceived and robbed of the security that she deserved in our marriage. So he did this before and you chose to stay with him. See, sometimes when God shows you things, when he opens the door and he lays it all out, and makes it plain and public right there, you need to take the time and get out. So what he said, oh, I'm never going to do it again, baby. It was a one time thing. Really? 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 He then said, I was given the tools and the village to work through the layers of these challenges, but didn't always maintain my focus. Together, we worked with family, leaders, etc., and she committed to work with me through it due to her love for God, her love for me and her love for our sons and all that we had cultivated together. So let me tell you, she was wrong because you don't stand behind somebody who don't want you. See, you have to wake up and say, hey, what's really going on here? He's with you because you're a cover up. You are a beard. You are the perfect example of a beard because you played the docile wife and chose to stay in some foolishness that you didn't have to stay in because you had the ability to walk away when he did this the first time. How many times in between since then? So you put yourself in a situation to get a STD? HIV? Do we not think about these things? Because see, he didn't care about you enough when he was out there sleeping with somebody. He didn't care that mm, my wife could find out about this. Let me tell y'all something. I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm telling you, I don't understand this obsession with getting into any comprom uncompromising, compromising, whatever position you want to be in where we got to videotape our escapades. Why? So do you want to be a porn star? Is that what it is? Because here's, let me tell you something. You don't even have to do that no more. You can just go to OnlyFans. Ain't that what they do on OnlyFans? You can go get your OnlyFans account. People, stop letting the church be the reason why you stay in relationships that are toxic, that are not for you, that are bad, that are going to take you down and cause you to be, now she could be depressed. She could be suicidal. She's truly embarrassed because everybody knows the business because the video don't went viral. 
But that's because when God showed you the signs, ha, let me tell y'all something. You can't change no man. I don't care how many times they tell you, women, listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. You cannot change no man that is in love or like or in lust and whatever with another man. You cannot compete with that. And oh, God can do anything. God can do anything. He can tell you to stop being a fool and get out of the situation because he gave you an out the first time, but you chose not to use the out. You chose to stay there and continue to be a fool in a situation that you didn't have to be in. And then he goes on to say, due to my actions, this season has set her back due to the public shame and, the, and embarrassment that is far from her character as an individual. The fact that her name will forever be associated with, with this embarrassment is a burden that I'll carry forever. Let me tell y'all something. Ladies, let me tell you how discernment works. God is never going to have you be a fool and God is never going to have you be a, in a situation where you're going to be mocked and deceived. He's never going to do that because if you claim to have this amazing relationship with God and that you hear his voice clearly, he is not going to have you be made a fool on his name. Because God ain't never lost no battle, baby. He ain't never lost no battle. And he ain't never put somebody in a situation where they are going to be ridiculed, talked about, everything. He's not going to put you in that. That is flesh putting you in there. That's you putting yourself in there. Because God is always going to make a way of escape out of every situation that is not good for you. Yeah, oh, oh I'm, this is my testimony. No, your testimony is that I got away. That's what your testimony is. That's your testimony. That's your story that you go, I got away because I was in love with a gay man. Plain and simple. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm about to end. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here because this, this, there's so much more. He wrote a damn book in this damn thing. So, churches. Churches. It's time to stop playing church. Because that's what you guys are doing. Because you put these people in the lead of your ministries and you don't even know them. But you say you know God and you hear clearly from God and you know when stuff is wrong. But you can't catch the stuff that's right in your face. It's right there. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I've been on this earth a long time. And I don't care what y'all say. My discernment when it comes to gay DL bisexual men is 10,000 points. It's on. It's on. I don't have any issues figuring out who's who and who's not. Because let me tell you, when you get into their presence, you're going to know. Somebody said to me, um, I just ain't always sure, but I just felt something. So you felt something, but you wasn't sure. When you felt something, that was the time for you to take stage left and keep it moving. For the rest of you men who out there that are pastors, walk away now. Walk away now. Leave the relationship because what you're not understanding the kids are going to be affected. And this is going to see them because my dad did this. So if my dad did this, it's all right. The girls are going to see, well, my father did this to my mother and she stayed with him. So I'm going to stand by my man just like my mother did. Because in folks' eyes, their parents are their role models. And so you choose to be a role model that shows that deception is all right. It's never all right, people. It's never all right. Pastor Dawkins, I pray that you go somewhere and you get some help. Seek therapy. 
because at some point, let me tell y'all something that I really am ending here. At some point, everybody has to become an adult and you know that you're going to be held accountable for your actions. So you have to get to this point and say, well, this is who I am. This is what I like. This is what I do. So that I'm not going to have anybody else bogged up in my mess. I'm going to be single until I can learn to figure out if I'm going to be completely 100% delivered from this. And I'm not going to ever mess with men. I need to be by myself as I work through this and start this journey. Because being married, your flesh is all tangled up. All these things are going through your mind. But if you're by yourself, then nobody is getting embarrassed. Nobody is being put in a situation where they feel like, oh my God, he's deceiving me. No, be by yourself till you can maintain and control your flesh. Because that's what you're telling the people in the pulpit. That I'm saved and I only do this. So you're lying to the people, you're deceiving the people and you're making a mockery of the church. And it's time out for this foolishness. It's time out. We have been through COVID. It is time out for fake church. It is only time for real church. And if you don't want to be a part of the real church, stay home. Hell is real. Heaven is real. You better catch that. It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. I'm out. Stop playing with women's lives and their emotions and putting them in situations where they feel like there's no other option but to kill themselves because of the embarrassment because you can't keep your goddamn dicks in your damn pants.